name is Phillips and I work with lightning. This is what happens when lightning strikes carbon fibre composite. Now carbon fibre composite is a great material, it's very light, and so we'd love to be able to use it more and more in the production of aircraft. They'll use less fuel so they'll be cheaper to run and also better for the environment. However, with the damage caused by lightning strikes this can be problematic. Aircraft get hit by lightning a lot more often than you'd think. The average commercial airliner gets hit by lightning approximately once per year. So we can't use this exact material on the aircraft. Instead we use something very similar. Now this is also carbon fibre composite but we've adapted it slightly and embedded a very thin layer of metal. As you can see the damage here is a lot less. This is because the metal has provided us with a conductive layer which has helped to spread the electric charge from the lightning around the aircraft. So this works. However, that extra layer of metal adds some of the weight back on. So my job here at EADS is working with a team of researchers looking at new ways of protecting carbon fibre against lightning strikes. The team comes up with lots of possible solutions to the problem, but it's impractical and very expensive to test every single one of them on a real aircraft. So instead, I get to use mathematical models like this one here. As you can see, we've got a, a model of an aeroplane here, and we can use this to simulate the lightning tests on the computer, and then if the solution seems like it's viable at that point, we can then test it on a real aircraft to help validate the model. I love my job because I know that the work I'm doing is going to be used on real aircraft in the future. It's not purely theoretical, and I like the fact that I'm applying maths to the real world.